Hey everybody, Shabu here, back from a video and today, I'll be showing you how to make a team only door in Roblox. So the first thing you're going to want to do, is go to view at the top, and then make sure you have properties and explorer both open. As you can see, I have two doors right here. It's just a red part and a blue part. And I want to make it so only members of the blue team, because I have a blue and red team. Only the blue team can go through this one, and only the red team can go through this one. So what I'm going to be using to do this is collision groups. So I'm going to set this one's collision group to blue, and this one's to red. So I want to make only the red team able to walk through this one, and the blue team will just bonk on the door because they cannot enter it and the vice versa for the blue door. So I'm going to go to server script service. I right click it, insert object, insert a script, and then now we can start scripting. So we're going to want to get the player service because that'll help us detect whenever a character spawns in. So local players, use game, get service players. Local physics service, use game, get service physics service. Because we're going to have to register these collision groups and set a player's collision group to match the team they're on. So physics service, collision group set collidable, red and red door. We'll put red door and we'll also make a red collision group. Just in case you want the red team to still collide with each other. If you don't, you can just do this and not change those. But I'm going to change them. And then we do the same for blue and the blue door. Let me change the blue door here. So we have the red door and the blue door. And then we have to register all the collision groups. So we can just do that and I can just copy this. Control C or um, right click and copy after you highlight it. Then I'm just going to paste it four times. Blue, blue door, red door. Now we have all of our collision groups set up. I should probably move this in front just to make sure it doesn't glitch. And then we're also going to want to get the team service. So local teams equals game, get service teams. Next, we're going to want to make a function for when the player is added. So local function player joined player. Then local function character added character. And then we're going to want to set up these functions. So players dot player added, connect player joined. And then player dot character added connect character added. So whenever a player joins, and then when the character is added, all the code inside of here will run, and we're going to be setting their character's collision group to correspond with their team. And to make sure this script doesn't miss any players, because that happens a lot sometimes. For i player and pairs players get players. So this is just looping through every player that has joined the game. Player joined player. And then to also make sure that we don't miss their character, because that can also happen. Repeat task.wait until player.character, and then character added player.character. And we shouldn't be missing any characters or players now. Now we can start scripting what happens when their character joins. So local function, I know there's like three functions here, lim added part, then if part in part is a base part, much part part dot collision group equals and then this is where we're going to want to check what team they're on so if player dot team equals let's say teams dot red then then otherwise we can put them on the blue team since i only have two teams otherwise if you had more you could do this but i only have two so you put that that and then the corresponding collision group so red and blue and then we're going to want to prepare this function. So character dot descendant added limb added. This will detect whenever a limb is added. And then for the stuff already loaded, I'll just put this here, which is basically the same thing as down here. Do if t and if t then limb added t just like that. And make sure you don't forget the connect there, otherwise it won't work. And you also want to set these to false to specify that it's that you don't want them to collide. 
and you want to make sure that you don't do this. You want to put it as player.character here. Now if I press play, as you can see I can walk through the red door, and I cannot walk through the blue door. Now if I was on the blue team, so I can just, so I can just turn this off so I'm not put on that team anymore. Now I can't go to the red door, I just bonk my head on there, but I can go through the blue door. And you'll be able to go through anything with the collision group of blue door. And that's how you make team only doors in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch the subscribe button. Peace.